Hollywood. My sister's little beaver scout. It's the Tom Likas Show. I love little beavers. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Look at this story. Out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, a Philadelphia man was forced to pay more than $12,000 in child support for another man's daughter and spent two years in jail for falling behind on payments. Dauphin County Prosecutor Edward M. Marsico told the Patriot News of Harrisburg that he is examining the case of Walter Andre Sharp, Jr., who has been unable to recover the money even after establishing that he isn't the girl's father. The investigation has no specific targets, Marsico said. Sharp's troubles began in 2001 when he signed for a certified letter addressed to someone named Edward, correction, Andre Sharp, the girl's father. The letter ordered Andre Sharp to attend a child support conference in Dauphin County, where the girl's mother lived at the time. Walter Sharp, who was already supporting four children from a previous marriage, ignored the letter. <laughs> and a judge ruled he was the father after neither man had showed up. Now again, this guy is not the father. He just signed for a certified letter. Probably didn't even know what the certified letter was. Have you ever done that? Sign for a letter at your office. Or um, I get my mail delivered to one of these, uh, you know, like mailboxes, etc. Where uh, I, I get sometimes uh, uh, FedExes or UPS, they, they, they sign for stuff there. You've signed for other people's stuff before. Imagine if this happened to you. Walter Sharp, it says here, who was already supporting four children from a previous marriage, ignored the letter, and a judge ruled he was the father when neither man showed up. The County Family Welfare Agency then began garnishing Walter Sharp's wages from his job at a trash hauling company. He served four six-month jail terms for not keeping up with support payments between 2001 and 2005, then lost his job. Petitions he filed for DNA testing were opposed by the court's domestic relations officials and denied by the judge. In May 2007, the paternity order against Walter Sharp was overturned after the girl's mother and grandmother failed to show up to a court hearing. But the judge ruled in October that Walter Sharp was not entitled to compensation. Jesus. Keep in mind, Walter Sharp is not the father. Somebody named Andre Sharp is the father. Says here, Walter Sharp and his attorney, Tabitha Tanner, claim his identity was stolen in 2002 when he met with agency officials and provided identification, showing he was not the father. Instead, his personal information was entered into the agency's computer records, he said. Officials in the court's domestic relations office would not respond to the newspaper's questions. They said in court papers that they determined Walter Sharp was the father, quote, after reasonable investigation. Are you kidding me? Says here that Andre Sharp, not the same person, has said he always has supported the girl who is now living with him in Philadelphia and about to graduate high school. So this guy, Walter Sharp, was being forced to send child support payments to a woman who did not even have custody of the kid. The kid was with her father, a guy who just happens to have the same last name. Outrageous. It's just outrageous. The system has gotten out of control. Here in Los Angeles County, it's a total mess. Uh, I have read stories in the past about Los Angeles County where the former district attorney here said uh, he really wasn't concerned about whether they had the right guy. They were just concerned about getting what was in the best interest of the child, getting the money to the child. That's all they care about. But you know what? Knowing who the father really is, is important. It's important so the child knows his background, knows his medical history. 
it's also important so that the proper person is paying. And it is, it is important that innocent people who did not father children are not paying. Now, I'm wondering if you think we pay enough attention to this. Do you think we pay enough attention to making sure we got the right guy? I mean, is government out of control? Are they completely crazy now? Is the whole thing about taking money from anybody from whom they can get it? You tell me. Tom, 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 like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about a guy in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, who has been jailed repeatedly for not supporting a kid that isn't his, was never his. He's a victim of mistaken identity, and they don't care. Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I got the same story, man. I'm paying child support for my daughter. I have no problem with that. I get a letter seven months ago that said, oh, you uh child support being claimed against you from a lady in Kentucky. We're, we're taking your paycheck. i never been to Kentucky. I had to hire a lawyer to fight this six months already. Finally, the, the uh, lady never showed up for another court date. Now, they found the lady. They said, well, it's not your kid, but I spent all this money fighting this. They took my paycheck, and I don't get nothing back. We're sorry we made a mistake. Meantime, how much did that cost you? $3,500. And just lawyer fees alone. Wow. And my paycheck, they take $600 out more. They, they, they took $600 total? No. Uh, I paid... A grand, thousand dollars a month on child support between my daughter and this wannabe lady who claimed that I have a kid with me. Really? Now, is this somebody you never met? Never met before. So this is just like when they take your Visa or your MasterCard out of right. the mailbox. Uh, they just stole your identity and used it to claim you were the father of a kid that you knew nothing about. Yeah, from Kentucky, and I'm like, we try. I'm like, what do I supposed to do? I got an attorney. They said, well. They they didn't want to listen. They just took the money. Then finally, we, we uh, the lady never showed up to court. The judge threw out. But it's still, I, I'm out like five grand already. What? And they said, we're sorry. We can't do nothing about it. That's ridiculous. Outrageous. Frank on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, hey, Tom. This is Frank. Uh, I have the same thing happen to me with my uh, unemployment. I had my, my wages garnished from unemployment. From uh, some person that I never met, I had like six paychecks taken out, and I had to go all the way down to El Segundo to to straighten the matter out. And it was, you know, my name's Frank, but it was another name. Someone's using my Social Security identity, and it was a it was a it was a big mess. Unbelievable, I and, mean, and 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 nobody cares, do they? I mean, when you try to complain no, about this, I mean, I, I mean, I. I, I I told him, hey, this is me. I had to go down there, show my Social Security, my my driver's license, my birth certificate. And I had to drive all the way to El Segundo from the uh, San Fernando Valley to straighten this out. And this happened to me two times. Totally yeah, amazing. I mean, you know, this happened to me like uh, 15 years ago, and this happened about uh, five years ago. And my ex-wife was looking at me all weird, you know, and... Yeah, it's like it was, it was a big hassle. Boy, I could tell. Renee, all the top like his show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, Hi. My husband is going through a similar situation. Now, the the child support system does not have the men have no rights in the child support system. It's all about the woman. A woman can go down and say Joe Schmo is a child's father, and the child support system is not set up for where men will have rights. It's set up so that the women can just go in and complain, and 
they'll do things about it, and it's not fair. His ex-wife, all she does is write letters to them, and these people send him, you know, things that they're going to garnish his wages even more and take out even more child support on top of what he's paying when the judge never ordered that. Of course, women never complain about this unless they marry a guy who's a victim. And my father was also a victim of this. So maybe I should have taken heed uh, before I married this man because my father went through this in the 80s. When he divorced my mother. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know why anyone wants to take on other people's baggage. I don't understand it. I, I completely agree with you. So will you, di will you divorce you. this guy or just live with it? Or what will probably happen is you'll divorce him in five years when you can't take it anymore. You're probably right. And I like I told the screener, I said, you know what? Maybe I should have taken heed of this because... In, uh, I feel very passionately about this. I was going to go to law school. I ended up becoming a teacher. And this woman has thrown up in my face before. Well, you know, so-and-so is not your child. Well, then why do I got to pick up the slack when she comes over my house? Very good point. We're talking about the guy in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, who has been jailed repeatedly for not paying his child support. One problem. It's not his kid. He never met the mother. He knows nothing about this at all. Nothing. Nothing. The father of the child says he has his daughter. The daughter's going to high school. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a woman collecting child support from a guy who never, ever fathered a child. Unreal. Willie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? I Not love much. your show. Thank you, Willie. Hey, Tom. I had a woman file on me in Los Angeles County, San Bernardino County, and uh, Riverside County. They took over five grand from me, never did get my money back for a child that's not even mine, Tom. Really? Now, when you say it's not yours, did you know this woman? Yeah, I knew her, but I also took a, a paternity test in Los Angeles County that proved me not to be the father. They took my money anyway. Outrageous. And uh, did you have an attorney? Uh, well, I had a, a, a court-appointed attorney in Los Angeles, but as far as the other two counties, man, I'm good at it now. I fought it on my own. And what happened? Uh, actually, I'm waiting to see what happens. What I'm trying to get done is I want them to do something to her this time. So I want to see if they're going to give her some jail time. Unbelievable. Willie, thank you for the call. And you see, that's what this is. I, I guarantee you some of these people are just uh, people committing identity theft. Uh, they may not even be children involved. Or they had a child and they decided to, you know, do the same thing as if they stole the American Express bill out of your uh, out of your mailbox, took your account number, and then went off to the races. It's the same goddamn thing. It's outrageous. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This all started with the story of a guy who had the same last name as somebody who had a child. His name is Walter Sharp. He was supporting four children from a previous marriage, but none of them were the one in question. He's already supporting four kids. He's already paying his child support. Received a certified letter, signed for it. <laughs> it was for some guy with the same last name named Andre Sharp. They uh, were never able to prove he was the same guy. DNA testing proves he's not the father of this child. And the authorities in the Harrisburg area did not care. They put this man in jail. By the way, here he is. Think about this for a second. He's trying to support three other, four other children that are his. So you put him in jail. Now he's not able to support the real children. He's jailed for not sending child support to a child that isn't his. And they don't care. They don't care. Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Mark. Hey, where the hell is the ACLU on this? It sounds like false imprisonment to me. Well, that's a very good question. Where is the ACLU? They're busy uh taking their noses and other people's business where it doesn't belong. Well, They're I also think I mouth. also think because the victim is a man and not a woman that the ACLU has less interest in the story. The ACLU is up to its neck in defending women's right to get their child support and uh, going after deadbeat dads. And so they really don't care about guys like this. I want to know where the ACLU is too. You bet your butt, buddy. Hey, listen. There are a number of ways that men are at risk when they have children, even if they are the father. 
I'll give you an example. I divorced my ex-wife in 1988. She went to another state, and she got child support delivered by me to that state. She collected welfare in that state. She went from that state to another and collected welfare. She went from that state to another and collected welfare. She was collecting welfare from three states and getting child support from me. They then seized money from my bank account in the first state, claiming I wasn't paying child support. I was paying child support the entire time. Unbelievable. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But again, uh, should I be surprised at this? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Russell on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I had a girl basically try to do the same thing to me when I was stationed in Germany. I was in the Army. And luckily I was because I was deployed at the time that she said that she got pregnant and that she had the baby. So uh, if it wasn't for the military, I would be, I'd be paying child support just like everybody else. And did she pay any penalty? Were there any consequences for her filing a false claim? No, actually, she turned around and filed another one on my best friend since I passed her to him when I broke up with her. And uh, that came up negative, too. It's just a good thing we were all in the military because the, the military actually watches out for their guys and keeps good paperwork about that stuff. So if it wasn't for be getting deployed and having uh, you know orders and paperwork on that, I'd, I'd be screwed just like all these other guys that are calling. Unbelievable. Russell, thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is your telephone number. Manny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, I got a reverse situation here, Tom. I have custody of my son, and I'm trying to collect child support from a dead meat, a deadbeat mother. Good and luck. And it's only $100. Good luck on that. Yeah. Nobody's, nobody, nobody is going to feel sorry for you. Oh, no. I've been to court several times, and I, all I get is that you make too much money. And I and and the thing is, she's a truck driver, you know, driving cross country, and I can't even get the the stinking hundred dollars that that I'm due. Incredible. Well, it is incredible. The government is out of control, isn't it? Yes, it is. You know, I've been to court six, seven times, and judge comes back the same thing. I make too much money, and a hundred dollars isn't gonna isn't gonna hurt you. Yeah, well, you know, it's only because you're a man. If it was a woman who tried to collect a hundred dollars, uh, they'd be all over her, and they'd be all over you, and they'd be uh, garnishing your wages and taking money out of your bank account, whatever else they could do. That's for sure. But I just thought uh, it was interesting how it's reversed, and I just thought I'd call in and let you know that uh, you know there's there's a chance for dads out there to get custody. So uh, dads, don't give up. Uh, keep fighting. Manny, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Is the government absolutely out of control here? Out of control. A man in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, has been jailed now repeatedly for failing to pay child support on a child that was never his. Born to somebody he never knew. Never met. The father of the child, the real father, who has the same last name, he's got the child in custody. She's in high school. She'll be graduating soon. They're still coming after this guy for child support regardless. Do you think the government is just completely out of control? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. With the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. More calls. We take them faster. The new rip roaring flame throwing Tom Like his show. That's the deal. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Is the government out of control? Collecting child support, they don't even care if you're the real guy. <laughs> Let's say hello here to Dave on the Tom Like his show. Uh doing. I'm okay. Yeah, you know, every single one of those women should be in prison for uh, fraud. Every single one of them. I agree with you. This is crazy that they can get away with this, and nobody's doing nothing about it. Nobody cares. It's unbelievable. I, I something, something should be done immediately. 
it's automatically assumed if you're a man, you're guilty, and that's it. That's exactly right. You're exactly right. And they don't pay attention to the women for some ungodly reason. No doubt about it, Dave. This is Ludwig on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Ah, Tom, how you doing today? Great. Awesome. Hey, um, I had a question for you, man. Um, I'm 19 years old, and I'm considering having a child. Why? Are, wait, in. why are you considering that? Um, I have a, like, uh, my mom just had another baby, like, six months ago, and I have a little baby brother. And I, I just can't stop, like, wanting to be around him, and he's just so, so beautiful. That's you know? fine, I, but you've got to wait until it's the appropriate time. What college are you attending right now? I'm attending a community college. So, in other words, no college. Uh, and no, 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 I'm going to college, sir. And I'm you, community you, college. You plan, well, you know. Do you plan to attend a real university oh, after absolutely. your two years? I'm tra planning to transfer to, I'm not, I don't know, with the UCLA or USC. But All I'm right, and what do you plan to major in? Mathematics, sir. And what do you plan to become when you grow up? Uh, eventually, long way down the road, a math teacher, but... Um, you know, maybe an architect or something in the meantime. Yeah, well, having a kid is like tying a stone around your neck. You want to you wanna be an architect. You wait until you are an architect and have a kid then. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, I know my mother had me when she was young. It doesn't matter what your mother did. Is your mother an architect? No. Is she an not. attorney? Is your mother an attorney? No, she didn't. Is your not. mother a doctor? No. She does your mother make $100,000 a year? Not, not, not close. That's my not point, really and neither will you if you have a baby now. Do you understand? Do you understand uh, the connection? Having a baby costs money, takes time. It's a responsibility you don't have time for right now. Okay, or, all right, well, I definitely want to have it at least before I hit 30, man. I'm, t I'm talking Why is 25. that so important? You can have a kid, you're in a man, you can have a kid anytime you want. Why do you have to do it so fast? Well, because, you know, I, I, I have this feeling that kids come out better when you're in your prime, you know, as, as you know. And, as, what, as and when you're man. 30, you're past your prime already as a man? Um, I think, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I feel that you're, you're too not young to You are too young to know. How old you're is right? your mother? How old, is, you. how old is your mother, 35? <laughs> That's like on the dot. Yeah, there you go. Well, again, uh, you, there is a connection between your mother's income level and the fact that she had a baby so young. Okay, all right. There's a connection. You have all to right. see the connection. All right, and Tom, let me ask you another question, man. You know, I, I've been listening to your show for at least a year now. You know, I'm a, I'm a loyal listener, you know? Right. Uh, and uh, and I, I never thought I'd be one of those guys that falls for a chick, like, badly. And within the last month, Tom, oh my God, dude, I, I, I'm like, I, I fell for this one chick, Tom, right, and I'm, well. I can't stop thinking about her like every day. Tom. Get her out of your head. You know really? what, son? You really, you have got to be focused on your studies. Okay. That doesn't mean don't go out on a date. Doesn't mean okay. don't have sex. Okay. It means that to to become an architect takes all of your focus and drive. You can't be dividing it up with a child and a demanding woman who's going to demand your time and demand things from you. Okay. Um, you cannot do actually... this. You will not succeed. You will not succeed. Okay. Um, uh, all right. All right. So, but this chick is pretty cool. Like, I mean, I, I, can I don't that care I can how cool my... she is. You're too young to know. Uh, oh, and right. your well, mother I, was too young. Still, your you know, mother I'm... was too young to know. Also, okay. Well, okay, don't I'm repeat a, the this, same this mistakes your mother made. All right, uh, I will avoid that for sure. Thank you for letting me know. Um, can I at least hang out with her and then see what happens? If Definitely you feel there's a connection, no. I think you're making a big mistake. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. Are you asking my opinion? Bad yes. idea. That's my okay. opinion. Bad uh, idea. What's a good idea? Study. Work. Study. Work hard. Read well, your books. Well, that's how I met this chick. I met this chick at school. I don't care. The, the fact that you met her there doesn't mean that your grades won't begin to suffer. Do you know how many guys I talk to on this program who have dropped out of school and it turns out it's because of their girlfriend demanding their time? Is that so? That is right. All right. Well, hey, Tom, Tom I appreciate the advice. You think you could take me out uh, Kobe style and then Bill O'Reilly? 
Uh, well, let's see what we have here for you. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. Bill O'Reilly failed in radio. Lost his show. See you, Bill. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Chris on the Tom Likas show. Tom, how are you, sir? I'm great. I have an amazing story. Okay. Um, believe it or not, happily married. I know you're not going to believe it. Uh, I have three children, been married seven years. Recently, I was served papers uh, for child support on all three of my children. Uh, my wife lives with me. My kids live with me. Went wait, to the wait, 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 <laughs> wait. Let me get this straight. <laughs> this sounds like the time I got a phone bill for zero dollars and zero cents. <laughs> exactly. And they demanded immediate payment. They threatened to turn off my service if I did not remit payment immediately. Well, they threatened that actually happened to me. <laughs> Do you know how I, by the way, that particular case, you know how I resolved it? I sent a check for zero dollars and zero cents. Amazing. And and uh, finally, I staved off the phone company. So so let me understand this. You're married, you have kids. Correct. And you've just been served with paperwork. Yes. yes. Uh, you owe child support on the kids who are in your home living with you and your wife. Absolutely. Yes. Um, actually called uh, social services for this. And I had to take a day off of work. They wouldn't listen to me on the phone. I had to come down to the courthouse to identify myself. They told me that it was written off. It was a mistake. Uh, guess what just happened to me last week? Got served papers again for the same scenario. And this time they're threatening to put me in jail, and they will serve me at my residence if this is not resolved. It's almost worth doing. Of course, I, I can't speak for you because I'm sure you got more important things to do. But imagine how you could speak for all these guys. <laughs> Take a hit for the team. <laughs> if they took you away in shackles and then took you to court and told you that if you didn't start paying child support on your own children, they were going to continue to put you back in jail. It, it's unreal, Tom. And I, I just, you know, I hear the stories, what you're saying there, and I had to call and let someone else hear this. And I, I just hope that one day... Things like this could end. I, it, it, it's ridiculous, and it's a waste of my time, and it's a waste of everyone's time in the whole system. And they want to cut budget? Look what we're doing. I mean, stuff like this is costing millions of dollars for no reason. Well, you are right about that. Unbelievable. Matt on the Tom Likas show, hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Matt. All right, I got my wife, Kelly, right? Her mom, uh, she got into these relationships with two different guys. Both different guys left her. She got into a relationship with another man who eventually he took the kids into, you know, with him. He adopted the girl. That relationship didn't work out either. So now she was a drinker, man. Every time she drank, I came in after all this. Every time she drank, she would whine about how he is not paying child support for these kids that he adopted. I don't understand it. It makes me so mad. Yeah, well, uh, nobody's ever mad enough, though, to write a letter to their congressman or to their assemblyman or their senator, are they? Yeah, I guess that. Which includes you, right? Well, yeah, I'm not the very good, you know, the most educated guy. Well, you don't have to be an educated guy. I mean, you just have to say what you said to me. That's right. But, hey, but, but, but you won't do it, right? I won't. I won't. All right. I'll hang by my thumbs. I'll wait to see what happens. 1-800-5800-TOM. Andre on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, man. First of all, let me say that one of the callers prior said that no one cared about this subject. You know, that's not true. Obviously, you care because you opened up your show with it, and I want to commend you for doing so. Thank you. Um, but you know what, Tom? You are the man with the radio voice. You've got the airwaves. You've got the big name. 
why can't I mean why can't you write the letter to the congressman? Or, because it's know, not my job. Can't. Because it's not my job to do that. And I, one, by the way, one letter doesn't make a difference. What makes a difference is if I go on the air and tell thousands of people to write letters. That's what makes a difference, and that's the way I participate. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm saying if if you really got the ball rolling, and 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 don't get me wrong, how is I, my I sending like, a letter going to get the ball rolling? This is a Domino's pizza. You name. call in and 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 you order a pizza and you get it in thirty minutes or less. Uh, I believe me, if somebody out there who's willing to do the real legwork to get petitions signed, to write letters on behalf of hundreds or thousands of people, start an organization, I'd be more than happy to lend my support to it. But it's not my job to be in the uh, community uh, organizing business. It's not my okay. job. Okay, so okay. if you want to start an organization and you get signatures and you get the support of the hundreds or thousands of people, I will lend my name and my support to your organization. Okay, understand. understand. But, but I'm not going to be out there canvassing your neighborhood. Yeah, I understand, but I, but I mean, I just thought it would be a lot easier seeing you've got the radio. It's you've not, no, but it's not because I, I'm already here doing this. Yeah, but I mean, you've got the connections. People would. I want don't to have. Get you don't understand. I'm just a guy who blabs into a microphone. I don't have any political connections. I don't have any social connections. I mean, the fact is, uh, I cannot pick up a phone and get a congressman to pick up the phone. Okay, I I don't do that kind of show. I don't work for that kind of radio station or radio network. Right, I mean, but, but not a congressman, like a lawyer who would be like, would be would jump at the opportunity. They, they, they are hearing me right that. now. Anybody wants to start an organization, I will support it. Uh, but I will not start it. Tom Likis. 1-800-5800-TOM. Likis. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likis Show. Tom Likas show from Hollywood. Fewer commercials, shorter commercial breaks, and we take the calls faster. Now you're here six days a week, Monday through Friday, 3 to 8 p.m. as you head home in Los Angeles. And then 2 to 6 p.m. Saturdays on 97.1 FM Talk. If you're outside of Los Angeles, you can always go to blowmeuptop.com. Click on the Listen Live button any of those times. I'm here the show live, including Saturday, which is only for SoCal. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, we are talking about a man in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, named Walter Sharp. Yes, Walter Sharp uh, has four kids. He supports all of them. But he's being nailed for not paying child support for the child of a guy named Andre Sharp. Not even the same guy. By the way, Andre Sharp has custody of his daughter, who's about to graduate high school. But that hasn't stopped the folks in Harrisburg from uh, uh, putting Walter Sharp in jail several times for non-payment of child support. It's outrageous. The government is out of control, and nobody cares. 1-800-5800-TOM. Do you think the government's out of control here? Brian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Dad, how you doing? Doing okay, son. Good. Yeah, you know what? Perfect topic. I, I completely agree with you. The government is outrageous with this one. Um, when I was younger, my daughter lived with me, uh, and uh, I had been paying child support in two different counties for the same child. And it took me a lawyer, uh, a whole bunch of money, and a court order to get one of them to stop payment and, and, uh, and vacate the order altogether. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, you know, they they say that that the system is is completely uh, tied together and whatnot. It's not. I've got, in fact, the uh, same child. Uh, I ended up with custody of and had her living with me until she was eighteen. Mom ended up uh, uh, having to pay me child support, which was you know a minuscule amount. They never enforced it, and till this day, uh, she still owes me about uh, a little more than twelve grand. So, and I don't see a pot that you know n none of it. So. It is it is a double standard all the way around, no doubt about it. Something's got to be done, Mark. On the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Great. Uh, Tom, to tell you my story. Uh, back in two thousand, my current my girlfriend at the time and I uh, had a baby. However, eight years later, three weeks ago, found out the baby's not even mine. I've paid child support religiously since late two thousand. 
in excess of over sixty thousand dollars. And and you paid it under the terms uh, of of a family court judge, I'm assume. Uh, through the division of child support in uh, Eugene, Oregon. And you wrote checks. You didn't pay cash. Uh, I actually, I, I worked with the Division of Child Support and had them take it out of my paycheck. So you've got paperwork to prove you did it? Oh, absolutely. And, absolutely. That, and then what I'm happened? statements every month. And so uh, about three weeks ago, I received a letter that, uh, that it had been determined that even though my name was on the birth certificate, which is how they established paternity, that the child was not mine. So did you get the money back? Uh, right now, I'm working with that. They have told me that uh, it has now become a civil matter that I have to go after her for the money <laughs> since she received all the money. <laughs> um, yeah, the government so had nothing to do with my, it. In my discussion with her, I said, well, you need to pay me back that money. And she goes, well, I'll declare bankruptcy. Well, I went and got an attorney, and the attorney has informed me that this, just like any other uh, situation, child support is not covered under bankruptcy. So she will be liable for it. Yeah. Well, good luck collecting. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I just I, I want to inform you of that, you know. So, you know, it, in these hard times, you know, I mean, I, I love the kid. Kid's a great kid, you know, and I loved it as my own from day one. But, uh, you know, what what can you do, you know? I agree with you. Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Not much. Let me just tell you, I love your show. This is the first time I've ever called in, but I'm completely addicted. I listen every day. Thank you. I just wanted to make a comment about the guy who called in before you went to break about sending in a letter to the congressman or convincing everyone to do it over the air. That is the most ridiculous idea I've, I've ever heard on your show. Think about all the guys who call in every day and tell you they got their girlfriends pregnant. Right. They're supposedly listening to you for years and years and years. But look what happens. Oh, I know what happens, and that's why this never gets fixed. It's because people love to call a radio program like they're calling in and ordering a pizza. Exactly. They love to complain. They say, what am I going to do about it? Uh, they're not prepared to do anything about it. What it all comes down to is people are going to do what they want to do, no matter who talks to them. So right. it, it really doesn't even matter what you say. just want to say I love your show. Well, I know that. Believe me, you're not telling me something I don't know. Uh, unlike all the... Uh, News media who blame talk radio for all kinds of political upheaval and what have you. Exactly. Um, I know that talk radio is a form of entertainment. That's all it is. We we entertain people by talking about what's going on in the world. Uh, but uh, I'd be the last one to tell you that we have any political clout of any kind. Right. Right. You're right, as always. Thank you, Scott, for the call. It's Ed on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Ed. No, you're Ed. Hey, hey what's up? And I got this letter once in the mail saying that I had this kid that was two years old. So I go down to the in the little family court thing they have on Ventura Boulevard. Right. And they treat me like a criminal. They're treating me like, no, you hold this money. I said, I don't have a two-year-old child. And then they said, well, let's check the computer. They, what it does is a computer generates names with last names, and then they generate letters to all these people to see who responds. So, uh, did your name pop up in the computer? Yeah, I, I popped up in the computer, and then they found out there was a mistake after I spent, like, two days with them. Yeah. It's like when the uh, IRS sends you that letter that says you owe another, you know, $2,700. Uh, I think they're just waiting to see how many people send money in. Yeah, and then, you know, after I got it all solved, I got another letter saying the same thing. So I go down there and say, can you take this off the computer? Because it's not me, you know? Yeah. Tell somebody up north. They're just trying to get money from me. Unbelievable. I think it's a scam. Oh, it's a big scam. And uh, again, I wish people would complain. Have you called your senator or your assemblyman about this? Have you called uh, somebody? I'm too busy for calling people, you know? Oh, come on. You can make a phone call. <laughs> you can send a four-line email, but you won't, right? Yeah. And you're one of the victims. Yeah, I'm one of the victims. You're right. Unbelievable. Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Big fan. I'm doing okay. All right. Hey, Tom, so my situation is about six years ago, I made the mistake, uh, you know, moved in with the girl. She got pregnant, the whole deal. So through that whole period... By the way, um, were you a listener at the time? No, no, I wasn't, Tom. I wish I had been. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so I'm, I'm living with her. I'm, you know, full support. She's not working. She's not doing anything. So anyway, a year ago, you know, we, we broke up. You know, I couldn't stay with her. I couldn't even be around her. So I said, you know what? I'll leave the apartment... 
still going to pay the rent because she wasn't working. It's a stupid thing. Said, all right, I'll leave. You know, we'll figure this out. Anyhow, she decides to move, takes my, my daughter, doesn't know where she didn't. I didn't, couldn't find out where she was. She wouldn't tell me. And I haven't seen her in six months, and she's filing child support against me. And every time I go to court and say, hey, well, what's going on? She doesn't have a judgment against me. You know, the court hasn't said she has custody or whatnot. But they're nothing. They, they won't do anything. They said if she doesn't show up to court, there's nothing we can do until she shows up. <laughs> so I went to the police, and they won't do anything. Yeah, of course they won't. Have you written to your congressman, your senator, your assemblyman? No, I haven't either, Tom. There we go. Uh, same old story. And that's why this never gets fixed, because nobody will do anything about it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Tim on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? It's going okay. It, you know, Tom, I was wondering, you know, with all the departments that we have, you know, in place for, for family matters and, and criminal law and justice, you know, what department do we have in place to protect men from going through this? Uh, mean, there is no de there is no department to protect sure. men. Right. Who who looks over this? I mean, there's got to be there's got to be Well, something. because men don't form groups. There are some groups out there and in certain states men are very vociferous about this. But for the most part men don't form groups, men don't write letters, men don't complain. Men don't uh, get to know their congressman's office, their senator's office, their assemblyman's office. And so the uh, localities continue to play this game. So so it's because we're always all too busy working and making the income that, that these women can but go after. But come on, you know, if you're if 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 you're if you have enough free time to watch uh, uh, Sunday night or Monday night football, you have time to sit down and write a four line email, right? And people just won't do it, and and that's why you get what you get. Yeah, but you would think these guys are going through it. They're paying hundreds of dollars out of their pocket each month, sometimes thousands, you know, and they're being victimized by the system. You'd think that would be enough. You just heard these, you just heard these guys, you just heard these victims calling in. Yeah. And they, they wouldn't even think to make a phone call. Yeah. I know. If I had thousands of dollars coming out of my pocket, you know, it, it, there'd, there'd be some kind of war going on with somebody, you know. <laughs> it, yeah. it, it, there'd have to be a fight. Yeah, well, that would be if it were me. I'll tell you that. Our email address, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.